had many highlights at the ASGCT, I have to say. Um, in my area, what I really recognized in a very optimi- uh, positive way is that um, the field is really recognizing the immune hurdle. So when I started in the field around 2005, there were publications out there. They said, um, human embryonic stem cells or later the iPCs, they don't get rejected at all. They are premature in the development. The immune system can't recognize them. So it took the field a while to, I think, um, appreciate the immune hurdle as a hurdle for regeneration or also later for off-the-shelf allogenic CAR-Ts. And what is really exciting, I think, to see is that that hurdle now um, gets really understood um, by colleagues in the field. It's really exciting. There were many, many talks, of course, in the session I was, but also, for example, um, one session was the Career Development Awards session where 50% of the presentations were about understanding the allogenic immune hurdle, modifying the host immune response. So I think that was something very exciting for me to see. And then, of course, um, when we think about regeneration, really the progress the field is making. So in my session, there was Lawrence Studer, for example, with a dopaminergic neuron. So how how the field is really developing iPSC-derived technologies and makes great progress in uh, generating um, cells that can later be transplanted into patients or Dr. Takahashi was uh, there with the RPE. So it was a very exciting conference for me. And I feel um, that is really opening the door now for so many different approaches. So I think it's a very, very exciting time. And it was a very exciting meeting. Mm-hmm.